Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy Kenny K Base Diggs, and I love J Ross TV. What's up, y'all? Hanging out with my boy K Diggs in St. Louis, y'all. Just What's finished up? up his clinic, man. K Base, man. I'm, I'm, every time I see you, man, I'm just more and more amazed at your skills, man. Uh, like, what, what, uh, what's inside of you that bring that kind of groove out? Man, honestly, man, when I'm playing, it's like I go to another world, man. It's like I always think of the people that came before me and the people I grew up listening to. When I play, I try to always think about how would I approach the song versus how would my homeboy Maurice Fitzgerald, Pierre, Daryl Freeman, how they would approach the music. And by the way, those are like some of my mentors that I look up to. And um, basically, whatever comes out of me, I always play from the heart. That's why I say this expression, I know y'all seen it, become the music. Right. Basically what I mean by that is you have to literally play what's in you. Become what you play. It's like you get tired of seeing musicians play that got the gift, but they know good and well that their heart is not in it, or they're just like, okay, why am I here? Uh, I can be eating some chicken right now, or home watching a movie, like Salt or something, on bootleg. About a real movie. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, man, you know, you just got to become what you play, God. And then on top of that, whatever you pour in you is what you're going to pour out to the masses. So you got to make sure that you live it right. I know it's hard, and I'm not the best person to say it. Trust me, we all got flaws. But you got to make sure that when you step up there behind your instrument, that you give God everything that you got. Well, let me ask you this then. Like, now I notice you've uh, been playing your five string Fender. Now, you're a six string man. Now, how hard is it for you to uh, go down, you know, to lose a string and keep uh, all your creativity? Um, basically, I guess it, it all stems from how I started. I started on a four string, actually. So I've learned the basis and the basics of the bass guitar, learning how to play E A D G, the four strings, before I got the low B, before I got the high C. The six string to me was just added added sauce and added salt and pepper to your chili. Basically, with the five string, I'm more in the middle of, okay, I can get that low end when I want to fill it in my back. But then on top of that, when I want to keep pocket, I want to just keep four strings. I got the other four strings that I've started and learned on. Mm -hmm. But I can honestly say for me, and people that know me, I, I am a, a six string player. But that five string Fender Squire, with the stuff that I put in it, it's a blessing right. from God. <laughs> <laughs> Fender Squire, that yeah, souped a, up. a $300 base. Oh, yeah. I'm working on. Hey, but now you're a family man. Got, oh, yeah. got uh, kids. Uh -huh. Then uh, What kind of toll does take take on you? You've been in St. Louis for, what, a couple of days now? Yeah. Be here for another few more? Yeah, honestly, um, you know, you miss, you miss your family. You miss your loved ones. I have the best family that a man could probably ask for. I love all my kids, I love my wife, you know, it is what it is. And the thing about it that, I, that keeps me going is the fact that I know good and well what I'm doing is great. And when I come home, even though I miss my kids and my family, I'm coming home to keep these lights on. You know, your family comes first in ministry. So in order for my family to live good, in order for my kids to eat good, dress good, in order for the wife to look good, presentable, I have to make sure I have the funds and the resources to make that happen. Right, right. So while I'm out here slaving my life away, but it's for something that I love to do. And I'm privileged and blessed to say that I'm working my heart out doing something that I love. So right now I miss my baby, I miss my kids, but you know, daddy's coming home soon. So. Oh yeah. So what's what's next next up for uh, K Base? Uh, actually, I got some more workshops coming out. God has been blessing me this year. Uh, earlier, uh, probably about a month ago, I did a workshop with PJ Morgan from uh, DC and Saint uh, in Cincinnati with uh, Tony Williams and them. That was great. Now I'm here doing a workshop in St. Louis with my brothers Kevin Kelly and Kyle Kelly, and you know just working and doing some good things. Got a couple CDs coming out. I'm working on my CD right now, which is which should be out before the end of the year, probably like around November, working on it, some great people working on it. Um, and just a couple more sessions, man. You know, God has been blessing, man. So. Yeah, so now your CD, you got a name for it yet? Oh yeah, it's called Becoming. 
Oh yeah? Yeah. You got any snippets people can go check you out on Facebook or iTunes uh, or Yeah, I might I might put some out there. Um uh, check me out in probably about a couple days. I might put out one of the intros to one of the songs, but it's gonna be great. The CD's gonna it's gonna be it's not gonna be what you think it's gonna be. Let me say that. Okay. It's not gonna be what you think it's gonna be. I know many of y'all saw me singing on celebration of gospel. Y'all yes. laughed. Yes, Lord. <laughs> in my blue robe. But you know what? Hey, um, it's gonna be very good. It's gonna be something on there for everybody. Choirs, praise teams, instrumentalists, bassists, whatever you want, it's gonna be on there. We got some great names that's gonna be on the CD. Um, you know, it's gonna be real good working with a couple of my mentors. I mentioned them earlier. Yeah. And you know, we're going to have a good time. All right, y'all, that's K Base. We live at the venue. He just finished up his clinic. He got through hitting with Chris and Kyle. And uh, we got, who oh, was just stepping on the set? Kevin Kelly. But, <laughs> but hey, 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 K, give him uh, some the information how I can get at, get at you. Uh, actually, man, y'all can hit me up on Twitter at K Base1914. That's K A Y B A S S 1914. You can hit me up on uh, Facebook at K Base Digs, K A Y B A S S slash D I G G S. Uh, you can hit me up at my email, kbase684 at gmail. Anything y'all want to do, clinic, sessions, workshops, hit me up. I'm not going to break you over the head with prices. I'm not that dude. Let's just minister and, you know, let's all give it back to God. All right, y'all. We up out here with K-Base. Peace. Peace.